If the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. This is the promise of Jesus who is here in our midst. And he sets us free that we are no more slaves but children. Children in the house of God. Children of the Father God. We are God's own children through the blood of of Jesus that was shed for us at Calvary. Let us look at Jesus. Jesus said, everyone who believes in me, I give them the power to be called the children of God. And today on this sixth day of the novena of the divine mercy, we're especially praying for children 
We're praying for the little children and for the childlike. And every one of us gathered to pray, let us offer the children in our families. The children we are anxious about, the children we love so much, the children whose future is unknown to us. And let us offer every child as we pray the novena today. The message of Jesus Christ to Saint Faustina. Today bring to me the meek and humble souls and the souls of little children and immerse them in my mercy. These souls most closely resemble my heart. They strengthen me during my bitter agony. I saw them as earthly angels who will keep vigil at my altars. I pour out upon them whole torrents of grace. Only the humble soul is capable of receiving my grace. I favor humble souls with my confidence. Let us pray together. Most merciful Jesus, you, you yourself have, have said, said, learn from, from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. heart. Receive, Receive into the, the abode of your most compassionate heart all meek and humble souls and the souls of little children. These souls send all heaven into ecstasy, and they are the Heavenly Father's favorites. They are a sweet-smelling bouquet before the throne of God. God himself takes delight in their fragrance. These souls have a permanent abode in your most compassionate heart, O Jesus. And they unceasingly sing out a hymn of love and mercy. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon meek souls, upon humble souls, and upon little children who are enfolded in the abode which is the most compassionate heart of Jesus. These souls bear the closest resemblance to your Son, their fragrance rises from the earth and reaches your very throne. Father of mercy and of all goodness, I beg you, by the love you bear these souls and by the delight you take in them, bless the whole world that all souls together may sing out the praises of your mercy for endless ages. Let us offer all these children and everyone who is meek, humble, helpless, and small as we begin the mercy chaplet. Lord Jesus, you died, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, Envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord God, you are truly glorified. 
by the children. Lord Jesus, you are glorified by the humble. And Lord, you have promised us that when we humble ourselves, you will exalt us. Let us look at our Lord Jesus. Jesus loved little children. And we read in the scripture in the gospel of Matthew chapter 19 verse 14, how Jesus stretched out his arms and said, let the little children come to me and do not prevent them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. How different is heaven from the earth? On earth it is the great, the strong, the powerful who own everything that exists. But Jesus says heaven belongs to the little children. Jesus said this at one moment when parents brought their little children and the disciples prevented those little children to come to Jesus because children were not of any importance in that society. And yet Jesus said, it is these children who will hold heaven. Heaven belongs to such as these. Let us bring to Jesus the children in our families, the children in our communities, the children we know, Let's pray, God, we ask you to raise them, raise them up in wisdom, raise them up to stand in favor before you and before humankind. Lord, raise them to be heroic and strong, strong in faith, strong in mind, strong in body. Lord Jesus, as we bring the children to you, Lord, we pray that you will raise saints and prophets from among our children. At this moment, let every parent, let every elder bring to God the children in our families, the children we are praying for, the children in our community, and we ask the Lord, Lord, we ask you to be the porter. We ask you, Lord, melt them, mold them, guide them and use them, Lord. Raise them up for your glory.
Let's offer this first decade for all the children of families. I invite you, raise your hands up and reach out to God, offering your child, offering your grandchild, offering that child who is dear to you, your niece, your nephew, those who are in your prayer communities, in your extended family, in the church, as we pray that God will raise up saints and prophets from among them. Eternal Father, we offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. Us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. We look at those who lived and loved Jesus, those who gave their life for Jesus. And we know that everyone who lived for Jesus, everyone who loved Jesus, Everyone who gave their life for Jesus. Those were called and appointed by God. And we see the very first martyrs for Jesus were little children. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 2 verses 16 and 17. The word of God tells us that the children of Bethlehem boys under the age of two were massacred by the king Herod who sought to destroy the baby Jesus. We honor them as the holy innocents. And today, we want to pray for every child who suffers. We pray for children who are abused, Children who are trapped in sinful situations, child laborers, war soldiers. We pray for children who are the children of drug addicts, children who have been introduced to addictions. We pray for children of refugees. We pray for children in war-torn countries. We pray for children who are in countries where there is famine. Children who cry out. Children who are suffering so much pain. We pray for children who are in the hospitals. No parent can bear to see the suffering of the child. And the heart of God breaks for these little children. And let us pray together, God. There is none like you, Lord. Mercy can bring healing to these children. Let us offer all the children of the world who are crying, who are broken, who are abused, who are imprisoned, 
Let's ask the Lord that His mercy will give them a new life. A life beyond their present situations. With abs absolute trust, we tell the Lord, Lord, there is none like you. second decade let us pray for all the suffering children in the world eternal father we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have
mercy of passion have mercy on us and of the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and of the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and of the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and of the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and of the whole world we remember the children who have been orphaned in the last one year millions have died because of the corona virus what we see are just numbers but every person who died left behind a grieving child a child who could not understand why their dad why their mom why their grandparent no child can understand the loss of a parent there are children who could be angry with god at this moment there could be children who are blaming themselves there are children who can carry this burden right through their lives who could live in fear of death but we ask the lord lord console these children lord <clears throat> we bring to god those children who are in raised up in very broken households in very tense family situations we bring the children of parents who are not together children who so much want their parents to be together but who cannot understand what is happening lord we bring to you those children whose parents not and lord as we bring every one of these children who in their tender age are facing abandonment are facing grief we ask you lord speak your promise into their heart what you have promised in isaiah chapter 49 verse 14 when the people of israel cried out at saying we are orphaned the lord has forsaken us my god has forgotten me lord you spoke to the people of israel and we ask you to speak to every orphaned child to every child in a broken and a tense household to every child who doesn't have a parent for them speak your word lord your word can a mother forget her infant can a mother be without tenderness for the child of her womb even should she forget i will never forget you see upon my palms i have carved you your walls are ever before me Lord as we sing your word of prophecy we pray Lord console console the children who are orphaned console the children who are abandoned by their own parents
Jesus chorus again. Bring to Jesus every child who is weeping in, in his or her heart. Every orphan. As we sing the word of prophecy, the promise is the Holy Spirit will be poured out. And the Holy Spirit will console. Console those wounds that we cannot bring consolation to. The Holy Spirit will reveal to every one of these children that God is their Abba. That their Abba, God, will not abandon them. I will never forget you. I will never forget you, my people. I have come to you on the palm of my hand. I will never forget you. Let's offer this third decade for every child who is orphaned, abandoned, that they may find in God their Abba. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful soul world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. We look to Jesus. Jesus came to this earth as a little helpless child. the very he stood meek and humble Jesus stood before his persecutors in the most humble form and even when he was pierced till the very end all he offered was his mercy and his love Today we want to bring to the Lord in a very special way the people of this world who are humble, who are simple, who are childlike, who are oppressed. The people of this world who cannot be appreciated by powers. We bring every person who stands meek and helpless And as we offer these these people who are childlike, we ask the Lord, Lord, in their most difficult hours, when they must suffer the injustice meted out to them by the powers of the world, Lord, let them find their strength in you. Lord, we pray, Lord, for every person in this world who's suffering because of evil powers, evil governments, evil authorities who misuse their authority 
an authority given to them in order to build others, they use it to break the poor, the oppressed, the weak, and the helpless. Lord, when people are oppressed, they could become bitter. But Jesus, we pray specially. Every was crushed. Everyone was helpless. Let them find their strength and their joy in you. Lord, let them find you intervening in their lives. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will come and rescue, Lord, and give them power. The power of mercy. The power to proclaim your goodness, O oh God. I lift my eyes up to the mountains. Where does my help come from? Indeed, O oh God, our help comes from you. For you are the maker of heaven and earth. And all we need, O oh God, is you. to you Lord you will take up my case and Lord I promise I will not slip into bitterness I will not take revenge Lord for all I want Lord is to be right in your eyes all I want Jesus is to be like you meek and humble of heart Hallelujah, Lord, 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 Lord,
for this decade for all those who are oppressed all those who are meek that they make spirit eternal father we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Jesus is inviting every one of us to turn and become like little children. Jesus told that learned Pharisee, you must be born again. And Jesus constantly invited the great and the small to turn back and become as little children. Jesus insisted that we must be innocent as doves in a world where there are wolves jesus insisted that we must be as sheep oh god we want you to purify our hearts we want you to cleanse us oh god that we may be free of all is like Jesus in fact you said that the peacemakers best blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God and you told us again that when we forgive we shall be like the heavenly father merciful and then we shall be called the children of God oh god we offer to you our hearts and we ask you lord give us a new heart a heart that is filled with love a heart that is filled with mercy a heart that is untainted lord you can see all the corruption in our heart all the mixed motives all the anger and the greed and we pray lord take away this heart of stone and give us a heart like your own that i can come into your kingdom Let me 
Let us offer this last decade for the sanctification of our hearts that we may become childlike, that we may be peacemakers, that we may have the grace to forgive and to be merciful like our Heavenly Father. Eternal Father, we offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy, holy mighty one, one holy, holy immortal one, one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. It we shall pray the litany to the divine mercy. Lord Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Now for the invocations to the divine mercy, our response will be we trust in you. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of God. We, we trust, trust in you. Divine mercy, unfathomable love of the sanctifier. We, we trust in you. Divine mercy, incomprehensible mystery of the most blessed trinity. We, we trust, trust in you. Divine mercy, expression of the greatest might of God. We, we trust in you. Divine mercy in creation of heavenly spirits. We trust in you. Divine mercy in calling existence. We trust in you. Divine mercy encompassing the whole universe. We trust in you. Divine mercy endowing us with immortal life. We trust in you. Divine mercy shielding us from deserved punishment. We trust in you. Divine mercy lifting us from the misery of sin. We trust in you. Divine mercy justifying us through the person of the incarnate word. We trust in you. Divine mercy which flowed out from the wounds of Christ. We trust in you. Divine mercy gushing forth from the sacred heart of Jesus. We trust in you. Divine mercy giving us the blessed Virgin Mary as mother of mercy. We trust in you. Divine mercy in revealing the mysteries of God. We trust in you. Divine mercy in the founding of the Holy Church. We trust in you. Instituting the holy sacraments, we trust in you. Divine mercy, first of all, in the sacraments of baptism and penance, we trust in you. Divine mercy in the holy Eucharist and the sacrament of the holy orders, we, we trust, trust in you. Divine mercy in calling us to the holy faith, we, we trust, trust in you. Divine mercy in the conversion of sinners, we, we trust in you. 
Divine mercy in sanctifying the just. We trust in you. Divine mercy in perfecting of the pious. We trust in you. Divine mercy found of help for the sick and the suffering. We trust in you. Divine mercy sweet relief for anguished hearts. We trust in you. Divine mercy only hope of despairing souls. We trust in you. Divine mercy accompanying us in every moment of our life. We trust in you. Divine mercy anticipating Fading us in you. Divine mercy, repose of the dying. We trust in you. Divine mercy, heavenly delight of the saved. We trust in you. Divine mercy, respite and relief of the souls in purgatory. We trust in you. Divine mercy, crown of all saints. We trust in you. Divine mercy, inexhaustible source of miracles. We trust in you. Lamb of God, who revealed the greatest mercy in redeeming the world by dying on the cross. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who mercifully offers yourself for our sake in every holy mass. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away our sins with inexhaustible compassion. Have, have mercy on us. The mercy of God is above all his works. Hence, Hence we, will we will praise the divine mercy forever and ever. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself, through our Lord Jesus Christ, King of mercy, who with you and the Holy Spirit shows us mercy now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us kneel down and receive the blessing, the blessing of our God who is meek and humble. Our God who will purify our hearts and give us a heart like his own in his generosity. Oh.
free.